Hey YouTube, so I wanted to hop on here really quickly again now that Vlogmas is over. I hope that you enjoyed watching my Vlogmas videos and now I wanted to create a cauliflower recipe video, cauliflower oatmeal recipe video for you guys because I get a lot of questions about it and I get a lot of direct messages on Instagram. So here it is. So yeah, follow my Instagram because people reach out to me all the time on there. But anyway, so I just wanted to hop on here really quickly and say all that. And before I forget, thank you for watching. Like, thank you. Seriously, it means the world to me. My hair is being crazy right now. I don't even know. But also, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. You know, the works. The things that I need to look for to see what you guys want to see from me. And enjoy seeing from me and all your feedback. And really, my hair is driving me crazy. Like, what is that? Again, I'm not going to delete that from this video because I don't care. And because I want you guys to see the me, the real me. But anyway, so peep my Christmas tree and decorations still behind me that need to go down. And also, the snow that I was not expecting today. But anyway, so I'm about to head to the gym. But before I do, I wanted to show you guys my recipe. And as you can see as I'm walking through my apartment... There are boxes that I am unpacking today because, you know, just getting on that grind. The lighting in here is horrible, so I apologize for that. Let me see if I can make it a little bit better. That's not the right one. No, that is not better. So anyway, I'm putting the camera down. Um, I'm going to try to walk you guys through this process and talk you through it and show you... And I apologize that I keep hitting my hair because it's just driving me nuts. But anyway, so first things first, I already measured it out on accident because I forgot that I wanted to record this video. But I will show you in my bowl right now, I currently have oatmeal and cauliflower crumbles. So I usually will put them both in the same bowl at the same time and then put water in it. And then I will put it in the microwave and heat it up. I'm not going to show you the process of me putting water in it because A, you can figure that out, um, and B, my sink has dishes in it that need to be put in the dishwasher. So I figure I won't show you that. Um, but yeah. And I fill it a good amount. You can't even see that, but I fill it a good amount where the water is like covering the cauliflower and the oatmeal that's in there. So anyway, so that's that. And I'm gonna put this in the microwave for about, I guess, I usually put it in for about three minutes before I add my egg whites. So yes, that is coming next. And yes, that is a part of how I make these cauliflower oats. Okay, so here's what it looks like when it comes out of the microwave. Um, sometimes I'll add more water, sometimes I will blend the cauliflower up a little bit more in a blender so that way it's like less chunky. Um, but then other times like today where I'm trying to just do this for demonstration purposes, I don't really care. So then I'll take a fork and I will stir it up and like make sure that I get the water like mixed in and then I'll sometimes like smash the crumbles if they're a little bit too chunky for my liking. Um, but then I will add in the egg whites or more water, depending on what's needed today. It just needs more, like it just needs egg whites and it's like good to go. Um, but before I forget, I'm going to bring the camera back to me real quick. Um, actually, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to show you guys. Before I forget, here is what I used. So the cauliflower crumbles that I used, um, sometimes I'll get like... The cauliflower crumbles from Whole Foods instead because they're a little bit more ricey and these are more crumbly as you can see. Or sometimes I'll just blend these up more so that they're a little bit more ricey and dicey and blend more or blend easier into my oatmeal. Um, and then here's the egg whites that I'm about to add. Just that brand. Um, and the oats that I use are just like, um, just like Quaker Quick Oats. So anyway... Now, 
I will show you adding in my egg whites. I am adding in two egg whites today. Sometimes I will add in, hold on, I'm really bad at multitasking, so I'm just gonna pour this. So I added in two egg whites, and then I'm gonna blend them in. Um, like I was gonna say, is sometimes I will I feel weird like not talking to you guys. So sometimes, um, aside from putting in the egg whites like directly into the oats, I will do like one egg white in the oatmeal. And then one egg white, I'll just microwave because I'm lazy and it's quicker and it still tastes the same to me. Um, then I will just egg microwave one egg white. I cannot talk today. I will microwave one egg white and put it on top of the oats. But today I just want to try and like get it all done and just have like a more voluminous bowl of oats. Which is why I'm showing you guys this and which is why I'm sure you guys are interested in it. My hair is still driving me crazy. I'm sorry. Um... But yeah, so in that, like adding the egg whites is definitely going to give it more volume. So then it makes you feel like you're eating more food, which I don't really need more food at the moment because I'm still eating a good amount of macros and they're just going up and up. So, oh, but I like to feel like I'm eating more. Uh, that's just my personal preference. So volume foods really hit home for me. Hopefully this recipe hits home for you guys too. But so anyway, I just showed you that I added in two egg whites, which is equal to about 92 grams. And I'm going to stir it in and then microwave it. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. So I'll just put it back here for a second while I'm stirring it in since this is a recipe video. Not sure how much you guys want to see, but ah, my camera keeps falling over. I'm sorry. So... And I'll just stir in the egg whites so that it's nice and evenly distributed throughout the bowl. I almost said dispersed. I guess that that's like the same amount of work, like the same, same value of a word. And that doesn't even make sense. I can't talk. I might just take this audio out of this video. And if not, just deal with it. But, so there's what it's going to look like. So there's what it looks like once you mix everything in. Um, and now I'm about to microwave it. Okay, so here's what it looks like once it comes out of the microwave. Um, it's like kind of creamy. Some people like it a little bit more creamy. Um, but I like mine like thick and almost like baked. So I might actually put it back in for like another 30 seconds. Um, and I forgot to mention that I put it in the microwave for one minute after putting in the egg whites. And if you like it more creamy and not as like thick or baked like how I do, then just add more water and don't heat it up as long or like I've kind of done it both ways. So it really is just like figuring out your personal preference and doing it from there. So anyway, I'm going to put this back in the microwave. And then bring this back around and talk to you guys. Um, so yeah, that was my oat recipe. So just to recap. So my video got cut off a little bit, but to recap, you just put oats and cauliflower crumbles in a bowl, put some water on top of it, microwave it for three minutes, take it out, put egg whites in it. I usually do one to two, microwave it for another minute. And then, voila, you have your oats, and I usually top it with a bunch of things. Like today, I'm going to top it with blueberries and peanut butter and a waffle, because I'm about to go work out, so high carbs. Um, but if you like it more creamy, then add more water and don't microwave it as long. That's the recap. <sighs> that was the recap before my video got cut off, so anyway. Thank you for watching. Please, please, please subscribe. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video.